Hey collectors, Anthony from Hazard Snud here, and today we are checking out Transformers Legacy Buzzsaw, a Walmart exclusive. Buzzsaw has a name that has been given to a number of different characters. This time Buzzsaw shares a similar deluxe class mold as Waspinator. When we get back, we will get the buzz on this bee. So, yeah, he's pretty much a recolor with a different head from the Waspinator as you see in the back. And of course, in front you're seeing the uh, Transformers Legacy Buzzsaw. And uh, we're going to real quick look at his packaging before we get to him. And it's the standard Legacy packaging. He gets his art on the side here. He gets his transformations on the back. And you get the Legacy Decepticon, Predacon side. And um, we open it up and inside is the insert now this is a walmart exclusive so walmart played for the plastic and even the little contact inserts inside that held the toy down were also plastic and of course you get a uh, set of instructions and the don't hurt yourself papers so let's compare buzzsaw and uh, his mold mate here waspinator uh, they are they're relatively small for deluxes, I think, like well, mass wise, they barely feel like they weigh anything. Because I'm going to show you the back here. Um, obviously, Waspinator has his gun and holster, but there's just a lot of waffle. It is obscenely amount, a large amount of waffle. And you would think at the price points they were going at, uh, I think this one was $22.99, this one's now $24.99. There'd be a little less waffling or something more feature rich in there, but. Not what's happening. So we're going to put Waspinator in the corner here. And I as I, I, I am torn on this transformation. I I mean, it makes sense. I just, I don't like it. I, you got to split him apart in multiple parts and it's a whole thing. And it, ugh, it is not my favorite thing. Let's see if straighten out his arms. Uh, first things first, fold these up. They kind of do this, and um, they're going to be important later. There is a chest piece. You just pull this up. Uh, you can crunch the head together. And just leave these down and out of the way for right now. These actually move, which is, I thought was pretty nifty. Um, so we're going to pull this forward. Let's make sure the arm is away. And as you see, it comes out. And I just found a rubber band from the Walmart. So after pulling the rubber band out, <laughs> uh, that surprised me a little bit. Okay, so he separates. Uh, this is the one one of the parts I really hate look kind of the most is he slides out this piece here. And then and my waspinator, it doesn't really stay into place. It's supposed to, when you go into uh, bot mode, slide in and lock in, but it doesn't really do that for me. Um, it is a very loose connection at best. I don't like that. I kind of wish he would have done something a little bit different. But anyway, once you got Waspinator, Waspinator, Buzzsaw's legs uh, done, you can flip them around. And then it plugs into the back of the tail here. Uh, do we call it a tail? Thorax? The back of the thorax? And it plugs in snugly there. And we'll just kind of leave them there for right now. Because what's going to happen is at the end of the transformation, this will form the bottom of the uh, creature. And uh, I just want to move the legs out of the way. And so what we're doing now is covering up the head. See if I can get the piece to get in there. Because the head is on a ball joint, so it's not going anywhere. You just have to get it in there and fill in the gap here between the head and the spider, or spider, wasp, bug, creature thing. Anyway, there is a tab and a slot in the back of the head of the uh, buzzsaw's uh, <laughs> bug form. I'm going to go bug. That seems easier. And so far, this is what we have going on, and it's a monster. So once we have this going here, we've got to put the arms in and uh, arrange this like this. Make sure the hands are facing down. Do the same thing on the other side. There you go. So the arms are really tight. They're supposed to fold down here like this. And uh, this, 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 it doesn't really hold in. There's like no place for the arms to grab. But uh, once you get them bended correctly and done correctly here, I'm going to try to move 
this like this and the other bug leg up. Um, it's just the waist doesn't want to stay in place. And um, there's these little tabs here. They're supposed to go kind of in his torso here. Let's see if I can get them. And I don't know, it's like a one or two millimeter peg. And it looks like I kind of got it. Uh, so here's where it becomes weird. These uh, these little bits here cl cramp under here, under these bits here on the arms. And uh, there is a place where these attach as well. And assuming everything is done correctly, and if we are lucky, uh, the see these pop off. In theory, they're supposed to attach. Anyway, adjust the feet. Make sure these are up and out of the way. I know it's not perfectly clipped in uh, because this should be filling in the back end a lot more fully. And we can fix the wings. So he's supposed to be more even looking if everything's in place, but they keep popping out. So you can pretty much tell that I am not liking this just particular transformation. I believe that T30 was better, at least in this end. But uh, you know, I mean, I, I love the compound eye, officially the feel, but the, the overall look reminds me of a fly which I assume is the target, or at least the goal anyway. But, uh, I mean, assuming you can get the transformation perfectly, it obviously would look much better than this. But, uh, yeah, it, it's okay. And that's it for Buzzsaw. As I said at the beginning, he's just a recolor with a different head. And they're going to put out multiple versions of this mold. They've already announced in the Buzzworthy Bumblebee... Uh, creatures collide basically bug assortment that uh, the mold will now also be called sky wasp although he has a nice black purple and red so that's actually a pretty cool scheme and that's coming out this summer in 2022 so I mean something to look out for if you're interested in it and really love this mold I want to point out one thing uh, comparatively I am torn because this mold is actually pretty good compared to the thrilling 30s waspinator mold so, I mean, they both have pluses and minuses, so I'm not quite sure how to rank them in that area. But either way, uh, that is all that I have for now. If you have any comments or questions, please post them accordingly. Thanks for watching, and remember to like and subscribe.